Hey guys, just want to show you my latest project I just finished. It's a eGPU for my laptop, external GPU. Um, I got some custom work done and um, it's all working fine and I just thought I'd show you guys out of interest. So basically what we've got is a, um, a metal enclosure with a, a Gigabyte uh, GTX 970 and an external adapter card with a uh, express card adapter. Express card slot. I've got a Dell Precision M4700 and this system just works. I was actually kind of amazed and almost a little bit let down in a way because it just worked. There was no funny things I had to do with BIOS, you know, custom BIOS or custom configuration files or drivers or anything. I just plugged it in and it, it, it worked. I was expecting some big rigmarole of crazy like stuff and like going down the rabbit hole of you know custom drivers and all that but no nah, no nah, it just plugged in and worked so unfortunately I can't give you much of a guide on how to do this with your laptop unless you um, have a Dell Precision M4700 because it literally just plugged in and worked just like plugging in a USB drive it even pops up on the taskbar in the same place like so I can eject this when I want to take my laptop with me just like you'd eject a USB drive it's it's incredible I love it so the custom work I actually did was uh, I got this big hole cut out and on the end the case is actually made in two halves as you can see one and two and it looks like what they do is they manufacture the, the two halves identically so you can see at the bottom here there's the uh, the vent there and this used to have the, exactly the same thing in the middle so it looks like they make two of the same and then they just turn one over and click put them together the only difference really is just the holes for the feet it probably saves production cost to do that and it's extra ventilation and it's just yeah it just makes sense so I uh, got the hole cut larger CNC cut so that it would allow the, all three fans to breathe because imagine if there's only one hole it's going to be kind of just here and the two outer fans are going to be useless then I then got some mesh screwed it in and um, yeah it looks pretty good I reckon then on the end I did the same cut that bigger there was three small fans on a little harness that were driven directly by 12 volts I think but they were like little jet engines they're really 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 loud um, like incredibly loud and um, so I got rid of those and just put the vent there the graphics cards got the three fans and even with it all closed up playing Fallout 4 at you know, 1080p fully modded high definition texture packs and the whole works it doesn't even approach getting hot so yeah it's fine I've actually got the fan, you can see the fan peeking out here at the bottom. I've got that disconnected as well because it's a little bit too noisy for my taste. And um, it's still, even then, it doesn't get hot. There's enough ventilation through the whole system that it's fine. So, um, yeah. I did have a few little problems though. Fitting in this card because the box is actually designed for older video cards. Uh, which are much smaller. Also... Uh, you can see the power connector here. I actually had to chop that right down to try and get the wires to come out on the really flat sort of 90 degree angle here. It's designed for graphics cards which have the power connector coming in at the end. Because there's, yeah, you can see so much room here. Whereas pretty much all graphics cards these days, the modern ones, all coming out the side, not the end. I could not for the life of me find a graphics card from any manufacturer that has the connectors on the end so I had to do this little bodge I put some capped on tape here of a couple of layers just to stop any kind of potential shorts from happening to the case which could be rather catastrophic I didn't use electric tape because electric tape being PVC it's softer and it can you can puncture through it if you have sustained sharp pressure whereas a captain tape is a lot stronger and it's it's cheap anyway, get it on eBay for pretty cheap, a few, do a few dollars a roll. The other problem I had was the height of the card because big heat pipe, you know, heat sink fins and everything. And uh, 
all the fans. It's about two millimeters too tall really for the size of the case, but it does squish down kind of yeah with a bit of a bit of gentle persuasion. But it still works, so it's it, it ends up fine. On the end here, uh, we've got all our connections, the usual, you know, two PCI slot a GPU uh, connections here, the OT graphics card. This one here is our connection to the uh, express card slot. Just a flat, where are we? Oh yeah, here we go. High speed HDMI cable with ethernet. Just, you know, bringing the data out. We've got a USB because the uh, PCI slot, uh, sorry, PCI slot, the express card slot has USB functionality in there, so they just, yeah, why not bring it out? I use that to connect to my uh, monitor because it has an inbuilt hub and um, it has uh, like configuration software that I can run on my computer. It's an ESO screen and it's, yeah, got some calibration and, yeah, he's setting the sRGB profiles and all that sort of stuff. You can do that through USB, so I'll just plug it in, yeah, with a, with a spare cable. And we've got our power here. I use the main big connector that's just goes to a standard power supply like your, your computer power supply it's just a motherboard style connector um, and then you've got the uh, DC jack here which you can use a laptop power supply like a 19 volt I haven't tried that yet because I've got a very big GPU compared to what this was actually designed for so I'm not sure if the DC DC converters on the adapter board inside can handle this GPU. I have to do some measurements of how much power it's drawing through here and then I can kind of calculate how much power I need to feed in here and if things are capable of supplying that. But you know the uh, power supply doesn't bother me too much so I'm just using that for now and it works perfectly. So that's pretty much all there is to say about the box. Oh when you get the adapter card or the box or whatever, you have a few options for this plug. I've got the express card slot in my laptop, so I use that. And um, you can actually buy ones with an MPCIe, a mini PCI Express uh, connector. So that can slip in through the case of your laptop and plug in internally if you don't have the express card uh, adapter. If you get that one, you have to be careful that the express card uh, not express card, the mini PCIe slot inside your laptop actually has the required bus connection. Some of them have like don't have USB, some do have USB, some don't have the the required protocol or the required connections for this sort of thing, some do. So it's kind of a bit of either suck it and see and just hope for the best or see if someone else has done it with your brand of laptop. Like I said, I've only tried this on my Dell Precision M4700 I can tell you that this setup works perfectly and um, you know, no problems at all, but that's only with my setup. I haven't tried any other laptops because I just don't have access to other laptops to try it on. But yeah, the NVIDIA software detects it, it pops up in the little notification area, I can eject it if I want to take the laptop, it all works fine. The, the earlier NVIDIA software would blue screen if you unplugged it without shutting the computer down, but they fixed that and now it's fully compatible and it just works. Yeah, so would I recommend buying this system? If you need an external GPU on your laptop, definitely. It works really well. I wouldn't recommend buying this actual case though. It needs to be about 10 millimeters wider in this direction and 10 millimeters taller and it would be perfect if they did that. Maybe hopefully they'll do something like that but I'm not sure. But the actual system itself, if you were to get just the uh, adapter board, and there are different types you can get, and there's some that, like external, where they don't have a case, but they've got like a little platform, so this sits up on your desk, just on a little little platform, it's all open. That will do the same job. You can get ones where they will go into a, uh, a custom case, or you get like a little, one of those little media center PCs or a home theater PC case something like that check out on some forums around the place and you'll see what people have done to make a little basically what I've done here but with a, a slightly larger or different shaped case 
you can get ones where the um, the power supply actually sits inside as well, so it's just one solid unit. You just have one cable coming out for your connection to your laptop, a power connection, and then your HDMI or DVI coming out. And um, we don't have to have a separate power supply floating around like what I do with this. But yeah, so I wouldn't I wouldn't go and get this case, but the internals are awesome. So um, yeah, just want to give you a look and. Yeah, show it off a bit. Nice, nice little thing that I modified, and I'm pretty proud of it. So, yeah, I'll give it a th give the general system a thumbs up, but the case I'll give it a half, just because it's a little bit small for today's GPUs. Anyway, check it out and see if you uh, you can get some more performance out of your laptop. I'll see you next time.